What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to run you through the Suron cheat codes. Your regen options, turning it on and off, your brake sensors, your gear ratios, and the power curve. Using the L1E, it works the same as on the LBX, but on the L1E we've got the screen and you actually can see it come up on the screen. Alright, the first one I'm going to show you is the brake sensor. So with no motor cut off, it's 8 short pulls, 1 long. For a motor cut off, that's 9 short pulls, 1 long. That just means, are you able to accelerate with your brake on? You want to do burnouts, whatever. So I'll switch the bike on. You can see mine will pop up P1. There it is, P1. I'm going to pull that eight short pulls and one long with the front front brake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one long. Just wait. There you go. Switch to P0. So now I can pull that brake in and still rev the throttle. Switch the bike off, resets it, switch it back on, come up P0 again to get that back to P1 using the brake. It's uh, nine pulls, one long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one long. Hold that for five, P1. So now when I pull the brake in, there's no acceleration anymore. That's how you turn on your brake sensors. Next I'm gonna show you is the regen. Turning it from no regen, low regen, medium regen, or maximum regen. First one, I think mine's set on no regen, so I'm gonna turn it to max regen. So I'll turn the bike on, wait for it to go through its settings. Max regen is four, lo four short, one long. One, two, three, four, one long. E3, yep, there it is. That's my max regen now. You can hear the bike, you hear the regen kick in as soon as I let go. Turn it back off. Turn it back on. I'm gonna put it back to no regen. That, so that's seven short, one long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one long. Should come up E0. There you go, E0. Now that is no regen. You can hear that the regen is turned off. If you want to do low regen, that is two short, one long, one, two, one long. And that'll take you to E1. Medium regen is three short, one long, one, two, three, one long. And max regen, like I said, four short, one long, one, two, three, four, one long. Obviously, every time you want to change one of these, you must switch the bike off, then turn it back on for that change to work. Next one I'm going to test is the power curve. C0 is an on-road power curve. C1 is an off-road power curve. Let's just try the uh, C1. One, two, three, four four, five, six, hold. There you go, C1, so that's my off-road power curve. Like I said, I'm not too sure of a difference. I can't feel it on a stock setup, but that's how you turn on and off your power curve. Just to put it back to on-road power curve, you switch the bike off, switch it back on, and it's gonna be five short pulls, one long. Wait for it to go through the settings. One, two, three, four, five, one long. And that'll take me to C0. There you go, C0. So that's my on-road power curve. So to change your gear ratios, when you change to a different sprocket, you will need to do this. This was probably only works on the L1E though. You hold down your right settings button here, you switch it on, and your gear ratio will start to flash. You'll see mine set to one, two. That's set for 58 sprocket. I'll just push it down to zero. Now it's set for 48 sprocket. Push and hold, and that will lock that setting in. There we go. That should be set at one, zero, and that's a 48 sprocket, which is your stock, stock sprocket. To change it back to a 58, which is what I'm running, I'll just turn the bike off. Hold down the right button, switch it back on, 
gear ratio flashing, flick it up to 1, 2, 58 sprocket, push and hold, save that settings. And there we go, that should be saved at 1, 2, 58 sprocket. Alright, that is the Suron programming. It's a pretty simple process. It does work on the LBX. You don't need that cable plugged in from the battery to the harness. Um, you can also use your kickstand sensors if you have removed your brake sensors. You can use your kickstand. If you've removed that, you're probably going to have to plug something back in to get it working. I haven't tried with the kickstand. I assume it works the same way. That's it. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.